In today's episode, we're exploring a medical centre in the northwest of England. This place opened its doors in April 1974, then closed its doors at the end of January 2018. We'll take you around the inside so you can see what it looks like after it's been abandoned. Please remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video from us. Right, welcome back everyone. We've now found an entry point into the building. So we'll take you around this medical centre today. Just slowly take you around here. Can't we go tomorrow? We can do if you want. I don't mind. I just thought that was a dead little bird on the windowsill when we're trying to show off a really nice room. How did it even get in here? I don't know, because there's no like... Yeah, there's no other way in it except the door we've opened, so it's quite an enclosed area. I, d I doubt the water or anything's going to be on, is it? Do you want to try a tap? <laughs> Come on. Try. Yeah, it's not on. Yeah. So we found some big box in the top corner here. I'm not it's, sure what this would have been. I think, it's a, it. I think it's a server cabinet for all the computers or whatever idea. But this is a reception room, I think, everyone. And if uh, <laughs> for once, if you want to actually look on the floor, we can actually see a lot of books. And yeah. there's a lot more on the windows as well. There's quite a lot in this room. So there's a medical centre that, that's what I showed you on the board. Really, really red. There's still a TV in there. It's quite badly damaged. That's quite a nice TV as well. It's not. Right, shall uh, we check it for hours? It's, it's not a box TV. No. Might take it up now, though. No. Look at these books. It's like kids' books, all sorts of books. You can see on the side here, Nick, if you look to the side, everyone, you can see a prescription a collection service. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> says, that's, about, that's all I know. <laughs> yeah. The collection. Says, Prescription collection. Ready so. and waiting. Well, it's not anymore, is it? I'll take him to the next room. So this looks like it was the front door, pretty mainly to come into the. I thought it was the back door. Could be, could be as well. I don't know. Oh well, it came through the back door, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. If, yes, there's an information service place in the top. And a nice right. little window there. Can you shine your light up here. Yeah. All right, don't know. Well, I'm trying to let the torch just like <laughs> there. We go. Yeah, there we go. Information service. Please select your leaflets. That's pretty cool. Oh look, behind you, you can see the reception. Yeah, I'm just showing this window. That is really nice glass. Yeah, it is, really isn't it? Like it's, that. it's not stained glass, is it? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. Stained glass window. Why have people someone got to put stains on the glass? I don't know, it's a bit silly, isn't it? Yeah, yeah when you see stains like on clothes or something, I know they put it in the washer, I'm surprised they haven't done the same with this. Yeah, I would have thought they would lose them. We are now in an old office area, which would have been used for all the medical files and stuff like that. As you can see, there's some old computer tables left in there, but no computers, unfortunately. Uh, it's just like an old sink in the corner. And that's about it, really, for this room. There's nothing really major in here. It's a nice room to look around. We'll take you into the next room. There you go, guys. This is the reception area. Go on, next stand behind it. I think we said about three different rooms as reception area. You know, no, but think, this is the actual. I think area. if I stood behind there, you wouldn't actually be able to see my head. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see if we can get into that room for. Okay, we we'll try it right now. Um, for the doctors today, just gonna see. Uh... Oh, sorry, I can help you. Yes, you can do. Why aren't you wearing a face mask? You do know it's COVID outbreak. You see, this is what you get at doctors these days, and you wonder why I don't go there anymore. Well, uh, it's abandoned now, so it doesn't really matter anywhere. Yeah, that's enough for one day. This is inside the actual reception area now. There's cupboards in here. I think shouldn't be in here. this place has been resacked. Receptionist is having to go up me now. I am. Yeah. Where's your mask? Oh, nice. Look, there's, it's gone all green down there. Look. I know. I've been looking after the place. The upkeep's pretty good. Yeah. Can you open one of them cupboards for me? Well, no, you're not supposed to be in here. It actually wasn't worth filming, guys. Look, it's just an empty cupboard with a load of mold in it, which is just what we're liking now. Yeah, and you can just see everyone, all the uh, documents and everything, it's just been left over here as time passes by. So this has got a lot of natural decay in this building. Not, oh, there's not really any major vandalism. There's a few windows broken and stuff, but yeah. Well, can it be anything else but natural decay? Well, yeah. Be oh wow, look at this guy. So someone's left some books out. It looks like the doctor just like, left it already. Set it up like that, just so you know, I don't know. Right, I'll, 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 I'll voice over all this. I'm sick of hearing the boring voice now. Just lying to you. I'm not. This is how it was. These books have just been left here. I mean, that's amazing, isn't it, guys? I can't believe it. I mean, it's been untouched <laughs> for three years. It. No, can't. I can't believe it. It's been untouched for the last three years. <laughs> that kiss at the back oh, was brand new. Look at that. Well, no, see, is oh, that's like an adrenaline thing, I think. Is it? Yeah. I've had some adrenaline just getting in here. Have you? He's complaining because he's hungry, but you know, he can't make a thing. 
You can actually see this would have been. So this is like a. It would have been where like, the patients would have been to have whatever medical operation they were having. Yeah. Well. Yeah. It Wait. Was, what kind of operation? It might have just been. been it might have just been an examination room, actually. Well, yeah, because it's not like a proper hospital, is it? It's a medical thing. So, so yeah. what would they have done here? You can see there is still bits of medical equipment over there, so we're just going to take you over there now. I can. Tell, the big thing that stands out to me is that massive thing there. What is that? Big That's a light on. thing, I think. Is that a light? It doesn't look like a light. It might not. No, because look down there, it says it on the. It's got like a little. That's a, that's a clock. No, but. No, but. It says Tavernick. It's a Tavernick. It's probably not. That's the name of the company. Yeah, it's probably not. Wait, I want to. Yo, does that soap have anything left? Hold up, everyone, get on it. Oh, here we go. Again, not this. Yeah, this is what I it, it does! does. This, yeah. Everyone, you won't believe it. We found it like this. We totally didn't rearrange it. No. But you can actually see there's some medical supplies and a lot of them are still full of, well, <laughs> drugs. So, yeah, I don't yeah. think that's very uh, professional. You can see that it's, yeah, they've just been left here and most of the stuff is actually still intact. Well. It's, some, of them are, <laughs> some of them are unopened, some of them have been opened, but, yeah, very little has gone on in here. It's, it's quite bad, really, isn't it? When you have an abandoned building and they leave drugs inside, it's not. <laughs> the, you'd think they'd clear that out, wouldn't you? You would do. You can actually see a little telephone. What is that? So, right, everyone, this looks like the uh, kitchen area. You can see all the cups and everything just left behind. It's actually really depressing when you look at it, knowing that this is someone's workspace and, yeah, and yeah. it's just gone. Yeah, it's sad. it is really sad to see the condition it's in. It's nice to get in before it's all been trashed. No, it is, it. yeah. What do you put? All be trashed. Guys, so this uh, blood glucose thing that's for measuring your sugar levels. So if you've got diabetes, you'll check it to make sure it's in the right range. All right, now everyone, we're off into the uh, treatment room. So I'll slowly take you around here. Treatment? Does that mean they get a treat? You can do, yeah. Your treat would be standing on the weighing scales. And... Hey, well, I didn't like that treat actually. It said I was morbidly obese. So that scale's broken just so everyone doesn't. Have to type in the comment about my weight. Well, that's what he's telling us, but I just want we to know that I'm, I'm uh, in TikTok. So there's here. a bed in here, there's <laughs> Nick, also Nick, diabetes. Calling, it looks like they do it a lot with like diabetes in this place. Nick, I'm not obese, I'm a beast. You're a beast? So, yeah, there's stuff left over in here. Look at that. Looks like another notice board in here. I don't know if, I don't know if Jack wants to check. Check the soap dispenser. No, I don't want to do it because it's one where you have to put your hand under. It's one of them ones. All oh, right, so yeah, it won't work. Well, it will, but I don't want it to squirt it on my hand where it's probably. Look at this, everyone. Strangely enough, everything still seems to be left in the cupboards. The it's all in packets as well, oh, so it's yeah. all clean. This is all like clean stuff. And I just read earlier on the uh, little register over there that this was in use in 2016 in December. So that's when I'm guessing it would shut down because that's the last date on it. That's the end of our video, guys. Thank you all again for watching. And remember, our vlog will be out on the 20th of December.